in yet another display of warrior-like spirit, we have an upcoming battle and unification match amongst the ladies. They're wasting no time getting at it. And this Saturday, November 2nd, a Golden Boy promotion will feature Gabriella Fondora taking on Gabriella Celeste Alanis for a unified, undisputed championship. These two women are bringing the best of the flyweight division. And with the action that can take place here, it could be a candidate for fight of the year. We're talking about warriors who come out to do what they do and they know no other way. So, with an eye ahead toward this battle, let's talk about what might be. talk about undisputed in boxing we talk about the best coming together to fight the best and this Saturday November 2nd we're going to have a pretty darn good fight card from Golden Boy Promotions believe it or not where they will bring together a number of young talents in the sport and headlining that card will be Floyd Schofield, lightweight, taking on Relay, tell us, get on. But the fight that we're looking toward on that would be for an undisputed showdown. Two fighters that many people feel will give us total all-out action and that'll be when Gabriella Fandora takes on Gabriella Celeste Alanis yeah we're talking about two flyweights who have contrasting styles and abilities and the fact that they bring what they do to the ring spirited all-out action and aggression talent, technique, ring generalship, the entire package between these two champions will be on display. And I don't believe people really recognize the significance of what it is because they're not paying enough attention to women when they are in the ring. Now, in the case of Alanis, She's coming in and she's fighting behind a record that shows her to be 15 and one with six KOs. She's the WBC and WBO champion. And the one loss that she had was a very close fight that she had with Marlon Esposa back in July of 2023. But she rematched es Esparza and earlier this year, she got a split decision victory. So she avenged that loss. Hailing from Argentina, she's 28 years of age, 5'3", and a powerhouse of activity. You know, Argentine fighters are noted to be tough, rugged, aggressive, they can take it as well as dish it out. And I'm telling you, it's the men as well as the women in the sport of boxing. Make no bones about it. Fighters 
from their give their all. And again, Alanis is definitely one of those fighters. Now, when you think about the person that she's taking on, you could say pretty much the same thing about Gabriella Fondora. She brings to the ring an aggression and a killer instinct, ring smarts, IQ, and technical capability. Now, her record stands presently as 14 and 0 with 16 with 6 KOs, excuse me. And Gabriella, the sister of Sebastian Fondora came up in a family that was raised on boxing. She's a southpaw, you know, and going up against Alanis, who's an orthodox, it, it just makes more of a competitiveness because of their contrasting styles. At 5'9", she's tall at the weight and she's lanky like her brother is for the division where she's competing. She knows exactly how to fight from distance and she's 22 years of age but has a killer instinct. Gabriella likes to hurt her opponents. She seems to really enjoy when she lands power punches to the body or great lefts or rights to the head and they show her opponent to be shaken. She seems to really thrive on that. And the IBF champion is looking to come at Alanis the same way, with that same type of spirit. And I believe that the two of them, when they put it together, they're going to really entertain the crowd that will be in attendance at the Virgin, Ho Virgin Hotels in Las Vegas. Yes, this is a Vegas match. So scoring can be a little bit janky. I have to admit, if it's a close fight, it's going to be on whomever the judges really like. It's not going to be on the action. But I'm telling you, the one advantage that Gabriella has in this particular fight will be her height and reach because Alanis likes to get in there and go to work aggressively behind power punches and combinations. She's a constant fighter of perpetual motion and she gets in and gets after it with a high engine. If Gabriella has to be put on the back foot or be made to worry about what's coming in, it could prove to be the one thing that sets her back against this particular opponent. But something tells me they're going to be like two rams clashing and going at it. And that will be even more appealing to the crowd in attendance and those who are watching on television. Overall, I see the fight working out where the Argentine is going to come out and give the best of what she has with the titles that she's carrying she's very much a proud champion and she's gonna go in there and give her all but if there's anyone who can take it all away from her it will be Gabriella Fondura I have this being a very close fight and give a slight edge to Fondura for her youth as well as her height and reach but it wouldn't surprise me one iota if Alanis is able to pull this fight out because she's that type of champion and again like I said when she came back and defeated Esparza that showed me that she was definitely one who could go and correct wrongs and this is also right for who's going to be tuning in. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty 
LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. What do you think about these two ladies, the flyweights, going at it, opposing factors, factors and styles? This is going to be a great fight. Leave comments and let's discuss. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.